Our teammates last year, some other guys who maybe hardly knew each other before the last three or four days. How, how do you feel everybody is gelled? How do you build that cohesion so quickly? Yeah, I think they've gelled pretty good. Uh, what we've tried to do is is to impress upon the fact that we want them to show why they're here. Uh, we don't want to slow them down with too much thinking or too much structure. We give them a basic framework of how we want the game to be played. But at the end of the day, um, they're here to show everybody um, why they're in camp and, and why they hope to advance on to main camp here. And, and so um, we're putting our focus on our effort, our will, and um, our competition level tonight. Uh, Jay Cam, he big uh, gets uh, the opening right. I guess the open spot since Yamamoto is not cleared to go. What do you expect to see from Hebig tonight? Well, Cameron Hebig had a pretty good rookie season last year, I think, and uh, he had, he set himself up for a strong first year pro by having an excellent rookie camp. So he did well in rookie camp last year. Went on to main camp, into Condor's camp, and then uh, was absolutely on fire in the month of October. And he played with those two players. So for us, uh, being able to put uh, Hebes into that hole with Benson and Marodi, um, they had chemistry early in the year last year. We're looking for them uh, to give us a little bit of leadership heading into this game tonight and uh, help settle some of the nerves for some of the, the first uh, the first year players. Yeah, it looks like Evan and Dimitri will skate together tonight. Um, how do you think they complement each other? Well, um, they're they're I think two high end prospects for our organization. They're uh, both big. They came into camp in excellent shape. Um, they're a threat uh, at the offensive end. Um, they're big and strong and close quick in the defensive end. Um, we want to develop a little bit of chemistry. Um, it's not their first rookie camp either. They've been around us. They understand our language and uh, what we're trying to accomplish. So um, they're there to give us a little bit of leadership on the back end too. Uh, on paper, is are Ryan McLeod and Kirill Maximov almost a perfect fit for one another since Mac Maximov's a shoot first winger and McLeod's a pass first center? Well, you hope so. I mean, like, you, you start with the plan, right? Like, and everything looks good on paper, and then uh, things happen in, in a game. But uh, I, I agree with you. I think uh, that was our thinking in putting that line together is that. Um, McLeod, I mean, he flies through the, the middle of the rink, and then you have Maximov, who can get the puck to Maximov, and he's a good passer. And Maximov shoots the puck hard and uh, is also a good skater. And we wanted to match them up with a, a worker B that left a good impression on us last year in Bakersfield and Nolan Vesey. Uh, Vies is a guy who gets in hard on the forecheck and is there to, to do the, some of the heavy lifting for those two uh, and get them the puck and allow them to do their thing. Uh, we're going to see tonight. I mean, it's a plan. Uh, we like it right now, but you never know what happens 10 minutes into the first period, and uh, we'll go from there. But I think all three of those players that I mentioned have had a, a really good start through their first couple days here in rookie camp. Uh, what split do you goalies? Yeah. Sorry. Go uh, yeah, we're going to split our goalies tonight. Uh, Wells and Skinner are going to split. And, um, yeah, this took the advice of our... Uh, crack goalie department <laughs> and uh, yeah no it's something that we sit down together and we talk about and make sure everybody's getting uh, the right amount of minutes to show what they have to. Yeah. What are you expecting from the Red Beer Faithful? Well uh, last time we were in there I thought the it was a midweek game last time and it was the atmosphere was electric uh, they were very excited to see the Battle of Alberta in some capacity in their building and um, you know we, obviously this isn't uh, April, May or June um, but it's these are this is our rival. This is our in-province rival, and uh, these, these games are important to these kids to make sure that that they leave an impression on on everyone. And uh, I expect us it to be a very hotly contested match. And uh, looking forward to getting into Red Deer and, and experiencing that kind of tight atmosphere, and we'll get everybody's just juices flowing.